Hi, I'm teacher Farah Youssef. We are going to discuss a new grammar skill today. Our lesson is about the simple present tense. At the end of this grammar session, students should be able to identify and use the simple present tense verb and form properly. What's the simple present tense and when do we use it? The simple present tense is the simplest form of the verb. We use it to express an action that happened continually in the present and regularly. For example, I usually eat my breakfast at 8 o'clock. So at 8 o'clock, I usually eat my breakfast. So this is a regular action that happened in the present by using the Frequency adverb, usually. When does the simple present tense or what does the simple present tense express? The simple present tense expresses a fact, a habitual or repeated action. So whenever I want to express or to write any sentence that expresses fact, I should use the simple present tense or even if it expresses habitual or repeated action. For example, let us see fact like water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. So this sentence should be in the present. Why? Because it expresses fact statement. Water boils. So I use the present tense here because the sentence expresses a fact. This is something fact. Another example, I brush my teeth every day. Habitual action. This sentence expresses habitual or repeated action, something that I do every day. Okay, so I brush my teeth every day here because the action is repeated more than one time. So it is repeated or habitual action. I should use the simple present tense. How do we use the simple present tense with singular and plural subjects? In the first case, when the subject is singular, use S, E, S, or I, E, S at the end of the verb. So the general rule is by adding S, but some verbs that end with S or SS, CH, SH, O, X, or Z, these verbs, they take ES at the end of them. Some other verbs that end with a consonant plus the letter Y, or they end in Y, and before Y we have a consonant letter, change the Y to I and then add ES. Let us take an example. An ant works all the day. Look at the subject here, an ant, which is a singular subject. So the verb, it should take S. Another example, the child watches the movie alone. The child, which is also a singular subject, the verb watch, it should take ES, okay? Why? Because it ends with S or C, H. Look here at this rule. Because it ends with C, H, so it takes ES. An afraid boy cries for help. Look at the verb cries. The verb cries Cry, C-R, and Y. It ends with Y. Before Y, we have a, a consonant letter, letter R, consonant. So, cross the Y, replace with I, and then add ES. Of course, vowel letters 
O, I, A, E, and U. These are the vowel letters. All the other letters, we call them consonant letters. Second case, when the subject is plural, the verb remains in its base form without adding S or ES, okay, to the verb. For example, ants work all the day. Look here, the difference between these two sentences. Here, an ant, singular subject. Here, ants in plural, so we have plural subject. So whenever we have plural subject, the verb remains the same in its base form. Don't add S or ES at the end of it. Another example, the children go to the school every day. The children also, it's a plural subject. The verb go, it remains the same in its base form. So don't add or without adding S or ES. Also, we have the subject I and you, okay? Also, don't add S at the end of them. For example, I eat my lunch alone. So, I, it doesn't take S, okay? So, the verb eat and not eat. You, also, the verb write and not write. So, I and you, they are considered as singular subjects, as singular subjects, so don't add S at the end of them, at the end of the verb. Let us take practice one. Underline the correct verb form. Sentence number one. Earth rotate or rotates around sun. Look at the subject here, earth. Is it singular or plural subject? It's clear that it's singular subject. So when we have singular subject, the verb should take what? S. So here, the correct verb form should be rotates. Citizens always celebrate or celebrates Independence Day. Look here at the subject. Citizens, we have plural subject. As we know that, plural subjects, they don't take S at the end of the verb. So the correct answer should be celebrate. Carla, cry or cries for help. Here, the subject is singular, Carla. Okay, singular subjects. As you know that, in English, the singular subjects, we call them Third person singular subjects, he, she, and it. Pronouns he, she, and it. Or the nouns that can be replaced by one of these pronouns. So, Carla is a singular subject. It should take S at the end of the verb. Here, the verb cry, it ends in Y. And before I, Y, we have a consonant letter R. So, we have to cross the Y, replace I, and then add Yes, so it should be cries. Soha dress or dresses a colorful t-shirt. Here, Soha also is a singular subject. So dress, no. Dresses, yes. Why? Because the verb dress, it ends with double S. So we have to add ES. 